Thanks, Kirk. Good morning, everyone. An Ottawa man wanted for murder in a shooting last week has surrendered to police. A Canada-wide warrant had been issued for the arrest of Eric Litmusolari, who police called armed and dangerous. The 22-year-old turned himself in last night. Payman Hatami was shot dead outside a restaurant on Dines Road last Thursday. Well, gas prices are driving up frustration for many commuters. In our area, the cost of a litre of gas shot up as much as six cents overnight. Reporter Melissa Lamb joins us with more on why the sudden spike. Melissa. Well, Annette, it could be a very expensive weekend for motorists heading out of town for the Easter long weekend as gas prices uh, rose overnight. $1.32 is the average we're seeing in Ottawa right now. That's up from $1.28 just yesterday. And all of this after the price of oil has actually gone down. Now, CFRA's business editor, John Brenner, does have a good explanation. In terms of what's happening here, a uh, combination of things. Uh, first off, you have a, a changeover from uh, the fuel that's used. Uh, they have what they call a winter grade uh, fuel. Now they're refining uh, spring and summer grade fuels. And at the same time, uh, you have maintenance being done at uh, oil refineries and the gasoline refineries. And that does have an impact on supply and flow of uh, finished fuel products. And if it's any relief for Ottawans here today, $1.32 is actually lower than the average national price of gas, which sits at $1.34 here today. Annette? Okay, Melissa, thanks for that. The chalets on the Rideau Canal Skateway may have caused controversy for their big price tag, but they've also grabbed the attention of design experts. The chalets won an award for design excellence from the Ontario Association of Architects. They were up against more than 160 other buildings and judged for their sustainability, design, and creativity. Other award winners include the Ottawa Convention Centre and the James Barlowman of Archives. An Ottawa police officer is now on desk duty after being charged with assault. The charge was laid after an incident in Carleton Place in February. 42-year-old Edward Christina will appear in court on April 16th. The Police Service Professional Standards Section is now investigating. Ontario's new Democrats have an idea to cut down on the province's debt, and it means more taxes for people who earn the big bucks. The NDP want people who make more than a half a million dollars a year to pay higher taxes. The party says that is their price for supporting the Liberal budget. NDP leader, leader says the change would bring in $570 million a year, but Premier McGuinty says any new ideas to improve the budget need to be offset with new revenue. Syrian forces have launched a new attack in and around the city of Homs just 24 hours after agreeing to a UN peace plan. <laughs> President Bashar Assad says these explosions are just the sounds of tanks and troops retreating, but opposition forces disagree. The UN peace plan called for an immediate withdrawal by next Tuesday and a full ceasefire two days later. Some are calling it a miracle. No deaths were reported and there were few injuries after a string of powerful tornadoes ripped through Texas. Get in the house! It looks like a scene from a movie, but it was all too real for people in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Tornadoes sent tractor trailers flying through the air like toys, crushing cars and tearing the roofs off houses, leaving dozens of families homeless. All of a sudden, the place just got dark, and the car started to shake like this. I mean, almost left the ground. And other could say, Jesus, save me from the storm. Also, more than 100 planes were also damaged by hailstones as big as baseballs.